This is Dave Sundstrom. Welcome to another video celebrating entertainment from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. You know, the moment that he saw her, he knew she was different. From everything that I've read, I think it's fair to say that while it wasn't love at first sight, boy oh boy was he attracted to her. Little did Gene Wilder know that the next eight years was going to be one heck of a roller coaster ride. If you hang tight, folks, I'll share the truth about Gene's relationship with Gilda Radner, a woman unlike any other. They met in 1981 on the set of Hanky Panky, a movie that was directed by the great Sidney Poitier. But if I'm completely honest, it's not a very good movie. It should have been a lot funnier with these two involved. At the time, Gilda was still married, so they became friends, and Jean became her confidant. Later, after Gilda divorced, the two cultivated their relationship into something more, and from that point on, it was rare to find these two apart. From the outside looking in, they seemed like inseparable lovebirds. But Gilda's desire to be with Jean 24-7 was actually the thing that made him kind of reluctant to propose. While he knew that he loved her and that she loved him, he also knew that he didn't want to be her everything. He wanted her life to be so much more. But as time went on, Jean started to see a side of Gilda that allayed his concern. And upon returning from a solo trip from France, he popped the question. Jean and Gilda were married in 1984, the same year that the two of them starred in the box office hit, The Woman in Red. It was during the making of their next movie, Haunted Honeymoon, that Gilda started exhibiting symptoms that worried both of them. She began experiencing severe fatigue and pain in her upper legs. Doctors gave her several different diagnoses. All of them turned out to be wrong. Meanwhile, she continued to experience pain excruciating pain. What a way to celebrate their first wedding anniversary. Well, it took far too long for doctors to correctly diagnose Gilda. Eventually they were told that she had stage 4 ovarian cancer. The prognosis was not good. Jean couldn't believe his ears. How could this amazing lady be so sick and according to doctors so near death? And yet when he held her close, held her in his arms, she felt so alive. Gilda was a trooper. She fought like hell to beat the disease and did every single thing that she was asked to do. And Jean was by her side the entire time. He wasn't there just because it was the right thing to do, the decent and honorable thing to do. He was there because, in his mind, it was the only thing to do. After Gilda's death in 1989, some of the tabloids suggested that Jean might have left Gilda if she hadn't been so sick. I truly believe that to be nothing more than shameful speculation. The truth about Gene Wilder's relationship with the great Gilda Radner is that he loved her until his dying day. You notice I said his, not hers. Jean did have one regret. A few days before Gilda's passing, she needed to have a CAT scan and the doctors wanted to give her a sedative to help with the process. Gilda didn't want it. She was worried that she wouldn't wake up. Jean comforted her and assured her that she would. Unfortunately, it turned out that Gilda was right. When she passed away three days later, Jean was right there by her side. He kept hoping that she would wake up long enough for him to tell her that he loved her one last time. Sadly, she never did. After Gilda's death, Gene carried on with his life. He even got remarried. But he never stopped loving Gilda. He demonstrated this enduring love by becoming a tireless advocate for the early detection of ovarian cancer. Gene did his best to channel his pain into something productive, and it was the only way that he could tell the world that he loved Gilda Radner one more time. Even if he hadn't been able to say it directly to her, she was his love. For almost a decade, she had been his muse, and most importantly, his reason to smile. 
In the classic movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Gene Wilder as the title character says something that is just as applicable to his own life as it is in the film. The line goes something like this, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he wanted. He lived happily ever after. And such is the truth about Gene and Gilda. Their story wasn't a perfect one, but for the better part of a decade, it was truly a happy one.